At some point in your life, you have probably been shown Windows 10 or have used it. And in fact, quite a few of you probably still are using Windows 10 to this day, just like me. However, due to its age and the presence of Windows 11, it's starting to reach the end of the road. Except I am still using it. I was an early adopter of Windows 11, and I went back to Windows 10. So, I'm going to show you some of the things I do on Windows 10 to this day. I'll provide some history, and I'm going to try some games. So, let's get started. To provide some context, I usually do these videos on unsupported versions of Windows. So, why am I doing this on Windows 10, which is still supported? Supply and demand. Let's just put it at that. But anyway, Microsoft's vision for Windows 10 can be kind of traced back to Windows 7, where they had felt that they had achieved their goal of a PC on every desk, every home, running Windows. I know this wasn't actually the case, and in fact, technically they can't because of legal reasons, but they had pretty much achieved what they wanted to do. With Windows 8, they started expanding this in ways that were not that good. They rolled back a few changes with Windows 8.1, but people wanted the start menu back, among other things. And so, in 2014, Microsoft provided some previews of Windows 10. Windows 10 was released in July of 2015, and this is why it doesn't really leave the most great taste in my mouth, because if you look at any desktop from the time that isn't running Windows 10 in terms of support versions of Windows, except maybe Windows Vista because Microsoft didn't really care about it much by this point, it would say something like, your free Windows 10 upgrade is ready. It got to the point where Microsoft started forcing people to upgrade whether they wanted to or not. Which is why Windows 10 got off to a bit of a controversial start. Windows 10 would be on an update model that would be a little different called Windows as a Service. For some context, Software as a Service is a type of a software platform in which the end user is provided with the software and they continue to receive free updates and feature additions and whatnot. It has its perks, but it also has its downsides, such as the fact that software as a service is harder to preserve. Microsoft wanted to take software as a service and kind of apply it to Windows, which led to Windows 10 being dubbed the quote-unquote last version of Windows. Yeah, that aged well. Also, on a side note, I kind of predicted Windows 11 back in 2019. I was making something just for like a concept, but I should note that it doesn't look that great as you can see. However, I somehow managed to get it right that Windows 11 would have like curved window corners. <coughs> Windows 10 would receive several major updates with various codenames such as Threshold or Redstone. By the way, that's not the only thing that could be Minecraft related showing up in this video. And some of the more significant versions include the anniversary and creators updates, as well as the very well named May 2004 update or so, with the final of these updates being Windows 10 22H2 released in 2022, which is the version of Windows that I have and I'm going to be using for this video. Now, the computing choice is going to be a little bit weird, but this video is already generally breaking the conformity among my general channel stuff. So, well, the computer in question is going to be my personal desktop computer, which is a custom build featuring a 10th gen Intel Core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, multi Multiple hard drives featuring around 10 tabbytes of hard drive space combined, at least that's what Windows sees, and an NVIDIA RTX 3060. So I think we should get to some basic tasks. So web browsing is obviously going to work just fine because of the fact that you can still get a normal browser on Windows 10. So here's just a few websites. Another thing that works just fine is video editing, which is shown here with this video editing session. This is work on last week's video, which wasn't done when I started recording this video. I recently upgraded to DaVinci Resolve 19, by the way. This thing usually handles virtual machines quite well, with the exception of stuff in VMware, because VMware th reasons. Generally speaking, I can use this uh, version of Windows for day-to-day -day tasks of mine quite well, such as drawing, software development,
and I don't know what else. So, let's try some games on here. And, well, the selection of games is gonna be a bit different compared to the usual roster, which consists of, like, say, a Toho game and Peggle and Bejeweled 2. This time, we've got a few modern games. For example, Had in Time, which, um, yeah, this thing is gonna sound like a fighter jet if it gets it on camera. as well as Minecraft, and, well, I'm gonna take a bit of extra time to talk about Minecraft here because I have both Java and Bedrock, and I'm choosing Bedrock here for some reasons. I know that there's probably gonna be some Minecraft person or some Minecraft player or hardcore Minecraft player or something This could be like, WHY DON'T YOU USE JAVA? IT'S CLEARLY ON YOUR DESKTOP! And to that, allow me to tell you, one, I'm allowed to play a game the way I want to, two, Minecraft Bedrock is capable of ray tracing and pretty easily. I have a pack installed and that's why I'm choosing Bedrock. Furthermore, on Bedrock I have worlds that I've made and built all of this that I think would be better to showcase what this graphics card is capable of compared to what I have on Java Edition. I also want to show off Geometry Dash, which isn't anything too special. I mean, it's it can be played on mobile devices, so there's that. And I am not very good at Geometry Dash. And so here's a compilation of me failing. And just because this video has a bit of a different roster doesn't mean that I'm gonna not use a Toho game. I'm going to go play Toho 13 10 Desires on here because of the fact that Stage 4 has such good music. And last but not least, Portal 2, which for whatever reason was set on the highest graphics settings and is such I think this is the hottest my graphics card has ever got it. For some reference, it was like hitting 85 degrees Celsius. And that's generally gonna summarize gaming. I do have other games that I could try, but I'm not gonna try them for this video. Maybe next year, because Windows 10 goes out of support next year. So that's generally gonna summarize this video. Overall, even to this day, Windows 10 is still going quite strong. And in fact, I held a poll about a month ago asking you what operating system you use. And while the majority was 33% being Windows 11 users, Windows 10 came particularly kind of close at around five to six percentage behind at around 27%. So yeah, it's honestly not that bad. And of course, I know that there's gonna be one person, at least one person in the comments that's gonna be like, that's what you say, you should try Linux. Just to put it simply, while I do use Linux on, sometimes use Linux, I've had some rough things with it, particularly with Ubuntu. But that's probably just because it's Ubuntu.